Do you need to enrich your Oracle user productivity KIP content with pictures, documents, glossary terms, or hyperlinks? UPK offers all of these features, letting you leverage existing content and make UPK content more engaging and more informative. This video, one in a series of tips provided by IntelGo for Oracle's user productivity kit, explains the process for using attachment features in UPK Developer and the Topic Editor. This video will show you how to understand media objects and hyperlinks, how packages are used, and how media objects and links are used in web pages and topic bubbles. Web pages are attached to UPK Topic to provide conceptual overview information about the topic. Each web page usually contains text descriptions but can also include images such as graphics or charts, hyperlinks to documents, and hyperlinks to websites. Contents of these web pages and others in a UPK library are stored in packages also created within the library. Media objects are typically any kind of Microsoft Windows file that is not created in UPK. Examples include pictures, movies, Microsoft Word or Excel documents, Adobe PDF documents, and so on. All of these non-UPK files must be stored in a UPK package. In this example, the images shown on the web page are stored in a UPK package, which allows developers a way to create links to contents within the package. When you publish content that contains links to objects in packages, the package is published along with the files it contains as part of the training content. In addition to images and text, web pages may contain hyperlinks to documents housed within the package. These hyperlinks become active when they point to a specific document in a package, an intranet HTML site, or an external URL website. Web pages can also display images from a PowerPoint presentation. In this example, the presentation slide is shown above the sound recording shown at the bottom of the web page. The PowerPoint, or images created from it, is stored in a package. If you want sound, the sound file can be embedded in the PowerPoint, recorded into the UPK web page, or linked from a package. This helps prevent documents not found or missing image errors. If you link to a non-UPK file in a package, and your browser cannot display that file, a prompt displays when the link is clicked at that point, you can save the file or open it. To open it, you must have the file's native application installed on your PC. Another use for hyperlinks in UPK is for glossary terms. When you generate a glossary in UPK, links display on a single word or phrase pointing to a UPK glossary term. When a user clicks a highlighted glossary term in UPK content, the glossary definition displays in a pop-up window. Inserting hyperlinks manually in a UPK web page is simple. You select the text to be linked and click the Insert Hyperlink button. The target can either be a document within UPK, such as a PDF document inside a package, or a URL to an intranet or internet website. You can also specify tooltips, which are messages appearing when a cursor is positioned over an element in a graphic user interface. Use the link window to also indicate how the target should open, such as in the same window or in a new window. This is how a live link appears in a UPK web page. You can also create links within UPK bubble text in a simulation instead of on a web page. This example shows you how you can create a link to a document, external URL website, or an intranet HTML site by creating a link within a topic editor frame. Linking from text bubbles in a simulation works the same way as in a web page. You can link to a document located in a UPK library, link to an external location, such as a URL or link to a document in a UPK package. You can verify that your chosen option will work when it displays in a preview window. This video showed you how to understand 
media objects and hyperlinks, how packages are used, and how media objects and links are used in web pages and topic bubbles.